I'm gonna go over a McKenzie extension, which is to means to lie on your stomach, extending through your upper back, and then adding in some neck movements. Key thing here is that we're trying to set a good shoulder blade position where we're pushing through the hands into the floor, establish some stretch through our abdominal muscles, feel the upper back muscles working, and then add in some head movements. So, you're gonna start with your elbows slightly in front of your shoulders. If you bring it closer, you might get more of a stretch, but if you feel your low back compression, then I want you to avoid this and move your hands a little further. So key thing to start with is I really wanna push my chest bone forwards and have a good intent through my hands, everywhere, my fingers, my knuckles, and my palms. So I'm gonna inhale, lift up, I feel my abs here, and if I lift up a little bit more, I'm gonna get my upper back. Usually the upper back actually will come having your hands a bit more in front. So this is where I'm gonna be. I could just do this a few times just to get that rhythm. As I breathe in, I should feel a stretch of my abs. So now I'm gonna hold this position. I'm really having a tense through my hands so that the, the, the force transfer goes through my hands to my triceps into my upper back. Now here, I'm gonna just keep my eyes not down, but basically in line with where my hands are. And I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm gonna inhale and look up. And as I look up, I'm pushing my chest bone forward even more. Now, if this feels pinching your neck, you're gonna avoid it. But the idea is that you're not just moving through your neck, you're moving through your whole spinal column. So the top of the neck, the lower neck, and then even into those upper vertebrae of your upper back. So inhale, look up, pushing a bit more. Exhale, look down. Keep having strong intent. Inhale. Exhale. So you're gonna work through that. Again, this key is that that comes forward. Now, again, only do this if it's pain-free. Now we can also gently look to the left. So I, I suggest start with your fingertips and look along the line of your fingers. Here I get a stretch here. Exhale, switch. Keep strong intent through my hands, don't sink. So your arm's gonna be working if you need to take a break, that's okay. So you're thinking about your chin turning towards your shoulder. Again, nice and slow. If this causes any pain, we'll have to find another variation that works well for you. But I would suggest going through that nice and slowly, taking breaks as needed to establish that good rotation through the cervical spine into the upper back. Give it a shot and let me know how it goes.